Well, CDC data shows more than 140,000 Americans die every year from excessive alcohol use. Yeah, that number is one of the reasons why mocktails are becoming so popular. The non-alcoholic drinks are crafted in the same way as a cocktail, just minus the alcohol. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live in Tampa. Josh, this is a fast-growing trend just about everywhere. So uh, what's behind it? You know, Haley, as you know, these mocktails have really taken off. Uh, in the last couple years, but especially recently, there is a growing market out there for people who want a finely crafted drink, just minus the alcohol. So when you talk to these bar owners, these business owners, they say this is a trend that will continue. Nestled in the heart of quaint safety harbor, Giggle Waters offers a social club vibe with a bar that's fully stocked with all the classics. But lately, they aren't the only drinks flowing here. We are mixing mints and basils and fruit juices and rimming the glasses. We are approaching it with the same integrity of a cocktail, and it just doesn't have alcohol. So this is the Abagnale. This is a lavender basil lemonade. It's really refreshing. It's light. It's got a little bit of sweet and savory in it at the same time. Whether it's folks looking for a healthy reset like dry January or the myriad of other health benefits that come with cutting back alcohol consumption, more and more consumers are finding themselves sipping mocktails than ever before. And bars and restaurants across Tampa Bay are taking notice. And the secret ingredient in this one is we're going to top it with ginger beer. And ginger beer is a non-alcoholic, very ginger-forward beverage. And it gives it a little bit of a kick to it. We have mocktails on our main cocktail menu, and they are ordered at the same frequency regular cocktails are. We thought that alcohol was helping our anxiety. We thought it was like actually taking the edge off, but then I think we all learned that it was actually making it worse. Megan Klein is the founder of Little Saints, a plant-based mocktail company born out of the pandemic and Klein's desire to cut back on drinking. The statistics are something like over 55% of Gen X drinks regularly, 42% of millennials, and 21% only of Gen Z. And that's because Gen Z is the generation to to really take the most care for their um, mental health. And that's helped create a market for folks looking for an alcohol alternative. Back inside Giggle Waters. This is the Kaiser Soze. Uh, it's got desert pear and pineapple. The mocktail trend is a welcome one. There's absolutely a market for it. I think it's a, a natural expansion for a bar to, to get into a craft beverage. Now, to give you an idea of the growth here, non-alcoholic drinks are growing at a rate of about 20% per year. Compare that with alcoholic drinks, uh, that's only about a 7% growth. So you see there is a market for it. You have a lot of businesses now not only offering mocktails, but really featuring them uh, as part of their menu and to draw people in. So this is something that uh, a lot of people want. These businesses see it. They're taking full advantage. Okay. Back to you. Josh, I do have a numbers-related question here. We know that these mocktails sure. have health benefits. Did you catch any of the prices? I assume, did, did they cost a little less than alcoholic drinks? I did. Yes, yeah, so I actually thought of that same question. I looked at the menu. They are a few dollars less. Uh, so you're definitely going to save money as well. So you're going to save your health. Uh, you're going to save your calories. And save a little bit of money, too. Hey, that's, that's an extra benefit. Can't disagree with that. Josh, thanks.